Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, our refuge in trials, our, sick, our strength in sickness, our comfort in sorrow, spare your people, we pray, that though rightly chastised now by affliction, they may find relief at last through your loving mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, God delivered all these commandments. I, the Lord, I'm your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the, that place of slavery, you shall not have other gods besides me. You shall not carve idols for yourselves in the shape of anything in the sky above or on the earth below or in the waters beneath the earth. You shall not bow down before them or worship them. For I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God. Inflicting punishment for their father's wickedness or the children of those who hate me down to the third and fourth generation. 
but bestowing mercy down to the thousandth generation on the children of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord, your God, in vain. For the Lord will not leave and punish him who takes his name in vain. Remember to keep holy the Sabbath day. Six days you may labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, your God. No work may be done then either by you or your son or daughter or your male or female slave or your beast or by the alien who lives with you. In six days, the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. But on the seventh day, he rested. That is why the Lord has blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honor your father and your mother that you may have a long life in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male or female slave, nor his ox or ass, nor anything else that belongs to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation and persecution comes because of the word, 
he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We have been around rules, laws, and guidelines. Much more, when the pandemic hit us, added norms were asked of us to follow. Wear your mask, sanitize, distance yourself, acquire medicines for protection. These laws and guidelines may have been given by various people. Much as it came from various people, we respond or have responded to this in many ways as well. Some follow genuinely. Some follow half-heartedly. Some neglected. Some didn't mind as well. We have heard how God gave and entrusted to Moses the Ten Commandments. It could be something new again. These Israelites may have grumbled against God because may bago na naman silang susundan. Binigyan na sila ng paraan na paano gawin ang Paskwa. Paano tumawid sa lupang pangako? And then here you go, another set of rules to follow. But more than following rules, commands, and guidelines, what is hopefully a spirit that can help us live with it? Jesus ended our gospel by stating this reality. Every soil accepted and heard the word of God, but their response came in different ways. But Jesus inspires and encourages us how, how it is to be a good soil, that after hearing and receiving the word of God, it may empower us, it may inspire us, make us fruitful, and help us to be better. Not to see what is guiding and helping us as a burden. Hindi pabigat, kundi nagbibigay buhay, nagpapanibago, at nagpapalago. You know, my dear friends, if we are talking about our end as followers of the law, it is good as well to address those people who are directing and giving laws. We beg of you, think and act, share laws that will be life-giving rather than a burden. Magbigay at maglahad ng mga batas at gabay hindi para magdagdag ng bigat, kundi para magbigay ng buhay. God gave the commandments not only to show His own greatness, or even to make our lives orderly, but to make us better, for us to be guided and help us to be fruitful. It was not in the mind of God that these commandments are here to stay, to impose burden, but to make us abundant, receptive to God's guidance, and for our own good. They are not here 
to choke us, but to let us see what life is really about. Hindi para ikubli ang katotohanan ng buhay, kundi para makita natin kung ano nga ba ang tunay na buhay at kung papaanong mabuhay. The commandments were not given not as a burden to carry, but to make us alive, fruitful, and blessed. My dear brothers and sisters, we will be around norms to guide us, laws to lead us, commands to form us. Be a good soil, mabuting lupa, tumatanggap na lupa, bukas na lupa. And let us see in them and through them ways how to live well and accordingly to God's plan. Hindi pabigat, kundi nagbibigay buhay. Please stand. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that people may listen to His mighty word so that it may bear fruit among us. For every prayer we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God may be open to God's word and convey it in language that people can understand. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those in public office may render their service with honesty and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That farmers and those who are into agriculture may be blessed with good weather and bountiful harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That the sick may find comfort and consolation from the words of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may rest in the heavenly kingdom prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We lift up to the Lord all the prayers of our dear brothers and sisters from the north and those who were for those experiencing the effects of Bagyong Egay. May God bless them with protection, with His peace, and with His providence. We also join in prayer all our brothers and sisters from Binangonan, Talim Island, who, are, who suffered and who died because of the boat accident that happened yesterday. May their families find relief and strength in the resurrection of Christ, and may our brothers and sisters who have died join, be joined to God's loving embrace. We also lift up to the Lord all our prayers, the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming, our prayers for one another and for our own intentions. For all of these, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, speak your word to us and make us listen to it. May it bear the fruit of Christian living in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all that the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through, through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, who for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you. Sanctify these offerings, these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to, to set us free, as she, he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience help in mind and body, so that, kept safe in both, we may, glory, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.